Question for you here at 1113. Are you a salty dog? Do you put salt all over everything that you eat? Well, by now you should know that's probably not good for you. Have you cut back on your sodium intake? News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria, is here today to talk more about this. And thank you for joining us, Dr. You're welcome. Uh, recently, uh, the New York City Board of Health, uh, in fact, last week, they uh, voted to require a little salt shaker symbol next to menu items that contain more than the recommended uh, daily limit of sodium. Yeah. Do you think that is important? Well, I think, you know, I think it's a great idea, actually, because more education or more information is never a bad thing. And again, I think it, it's not necessarily telling people what to eat. It's more, again, just like the nutritional mm -hmm. facts on the back of any package gives you more information so that you know exactly what you should, shouldn't eat or what you want to integrate into your diet. You know, in their defense, city officials said they're not trying to tell people how to eat or what to eat. Right. They just want to educate them. Again, yeah. I think that's the most important take home here because, well, I mean, what, what does salt do in the first place? Well, it monitors your muscle function mm -hmm. and most importantly, Importantly, it's fluid balance. It basically uh, monitors fluid balance in the body. So when you take too much salt in, you can overwhelm your kidneys. And what can happen at that point is fluid overload, hypertension. Mm. You can increase. Now you're uh, asking for trouble. You bet. You bet. Uh, congestive heart failure and, and then, of course, kidney failure. So bad things can happen. And so this information can only be a good thing. Right. What your daily recommended allowance is 2,300 milligrams of salt a day. And to put things into perspective, that's one teaspoon, almost exactly one teaspoon of table salt wow. per day. And some people really overload on that well, stuff. Well, the average American does. 3,400 milligrams is what the average American takes in every day. So we're wow. overloading our kidneys. Now, as long as you have healthy kidneys, you're able to excrete that and it doesn't cause any problems. All right. But a lot of us may not. How about here, the, the heat in South Florida, does that make any difference uh, whether we should have more or less salt than folks in other places? Well, it sort of does, John, because essentially what happens is you're losing salt either through urine or other ways. And when you're sweating a lot, there is salt in that sweat. Now, many experts would say that it's really insignificant. You're not losing that much, so you shouldn't change your eating patterns. And the reality is this, is that rarely do you ever have to supplement the amount of salt in your diet right. because most most foods have more than enough salt. All so right. if you eat a normal, balanced, healthy diet, you're going to get more than or plenty or certainly within that 2300 recommendation. So okay. plenty of stuff, plenty, plenty of sodium, plenty of salt. There's no in shortage the stuff of that salt you eat all the time, the right? Even in eat. the foods that you don't think have any, That's they right. have it. Dr. Surya, thank you for you're being welcome. here.